Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ashish and today we will discuss epinfo as a data analysis tool. First I will tell you how to download epinfo. Just open your browser and type epinfo. You will get a page from CDC. Just click on that. When you will open the CDC page, a page like this will open. For example, you want to download epinfo for Windows, then go to downloads. A page like this will open when you will go to download. Here there are two options, one to download only zip file and another to download installer. Installer will install epin for your desktop or laptop. In zip file you will only click on that icon and epinfo will work. It's your choice what you want to download. Here I am downloading full installer which will install epinfo my desktop. Now you can see there is a software called e EI7 setup exe. I will double click on that and will run this installer. It will install epinfo in your desktop or laptop. Click on next when it required and install. In the end this option of finish will come just click on finish. Now you have installed epinfo in your desktop. Now we have to double click on this launch epinfo. This will open a window of epinfo main dashboard. Here we have option of create forms, enter data, create maps, stat calc, classic and visual dashboard. With create form you can create your own form to de for data entry purpose. In enter data you can enter your data. In create maps you can create beautiful maps using GIS software. In StatCal there are option of sample size and power calculation. Classic bin, uh, option will open earlier of a window of AP Info that is version 3 and visual dashboard will open latest AP Info version. There is a no difference between classic and visual dashboard in options but uh, it's obvious that this is more menu based and this is more GUI based. Now first we will discuss how to create forms in AP Info. We will click on this option of create form. This will open a new window like this. There are a lot of options like file, edit, view, insert, format, tools etc. We will start our new project. We are working with research methodology course and this is data analysis tool. So I am giving name CRM data. And you can write description of this project CRM data analysis and in form name I will write CRM data demo please remember in form name it will not accept any space or non numerical value and now click on OK this will open a new blank form with a lot of option in this side these are option of label text text in uppercase multi line number phone number date time check boxes etc and we can add these field fields either by moving from here to there or from right click on that and new field there is all the option will appear here so first I will write title of the form this is CRM demo and click on you can change font size etc from font option I am not using those things to change anything and I, I will use default font for everything you can do according to your choice now click on OK. It will show a field name CRM demo. This will be title of the form. 
and you can't change this now now first thing in generally in forms is a unique ID or serial number so first we will add a number here we will write as unique ID this will be field name this is a required option for me you can choose required or only something like that I, we can define range of unique ID also for to avoid data entry errors I am giving 1 to 100 and the pattern will be maximum 3 digits so I am taking 4 digits here and that will be pattern of this now click on OK here a box will come with a unique ID icon now as a next field I will add name of the subject I will write name maximum number of characters you can choose for that person I am choosing here 20 characters and it is again a required field other if we are choosing as a required field we can't leave this as a blank and one more thing here name and field name is different because name is reserved with this thing so now we have another option of name we can change its space according to our wish now its name now if I want to add date of that person's visit and time of visit there is option of date time separately as well as option of date and time in one option I will use this option as a date and time it is again a required field this will give option of date now for example I am interested to enter the information about gender so I will use this option menu here I will write gender field name will be this and first option I will write male and second I will write female and I can increase number of choices from here I will write as third gender according to Supreme Court guidelines so this will come like this gender male female and third gender either we can enter male female or third gender only one option will work for a one person now for example we want to add something in yes or no I am using this option of yes no here I am writing about diabetes this is again a required field so this will give option of yes or no diabetes present or absent you can use all these options similar in similar way and create your own form now after creating your own form you will uh, just save this here I have already saved so save option will not is not highlighted I am just going to enter this data now I can enter this data from here or I can get directly grow from, go from here to data entry option I am just going from here this option enter data so a uh, page like this will open here unique ID is 1 name is Mr. X he visited at us on 20th October at 7 at present time this will show 10 18 and 37 seconds he was male and he was not suffering from diabetes 
as data is done now we can enter use save option to save this this will be saved in the data now we want to enter new record this is option of new record when you will click on option of new record last options will be disappeared and blank form will open again now his ID is 2 his name is Mr. Y he visited on 20th at 10 o'clock he was a male and he was suffering from diabetes now again save in this fashion we can enter our data with the help of EP info if we want to check our data set we can use this line listing option just click on that this will show you line unique ID and all the informations whatever we are giving in this here in the background it is using 0 as a male and for example now I will enter a female like information he is Mrs. A just visit visited us she is a female and she is not suffering from diabetes now save and check this line listing now for males this is giving 0 by default and for female this is giving 1 by default and this is your, his, his or her's time visit information about diabetes and name this is your data set now you can in add more information in the questionnaire and similarly can enter with this data entry module of EP info now for example you are you have finished your questionnaire and now want to enter your data after some times just go is go in this enter data module and open your form this will give uh, ask name of your project just browse your project we have given name of CRM so this is our CRM there is a CRM project just double click on that and this is our CRM demo this is table number and this is ID now suppose we have finished our form few days earlier and now we want to enter our data so just click on this option of enter data this will open a new window and we have option of open form just click on this open form this will ask name of the project we have given our project name CRM data this is CRM data and there is a name of project CRM data dot PRG file double click on that our form name was CRM data demo we can add more than one form in a same project so here we have only one form CRM data demo we will open this now this is our form here first entry is already done we will start entering by new record this will open something like that so now our unique ID is 4 name is Mr. A date and time will be just present male and diabetes yes or no anything and just save it by this way we can enter our data after in uh, some time or any time whenever we require and this will be again added in our main data set at present we will discuss only these options because we have not discussed anything anything about statistical methods like sample size calculation or descriptive or inferential statistics you can practice your 
our own form and data entry option once we will start discussing statistical methods we will demonstrate same things in excel as well as epinfo